Hello, we're here today in our research and development room at Fold Cover. Today we're going to show you how to install our G4 Elite hard folding tonneau cover on this 2013 Silverado Crew Cab. The first step in this installation is to install the striker clamp brackets. When going to install your striker clamp assembly, be sure to gather all the hardware in advance. Today we're going to need a bolt, a lock washer, a flat washer, your inner and outer brackets, and for this application, a spacer. Depending on your truck make and model, your brackets may attach differently. Simply see your instructions for further information. When going to install your first bracket, simply take the inner bracket, place it in your stake pocket. For this application, we're going to use a spacer with our outer bracket. Place it to a line. Take your bolt along with the washers, thread it in. And tighten it down with a 7 16 wrench. And repeat this process for the rest of the brackets. To prepare the wind seal for installation, simply take the support washer, place it in the wind seal, and align it over the hole. Take your bolt and thread it through the support washer, and be sure to hold the rubber seals back to keep them out of the way. Now that your bolt is through the wind seal, simply take your stake pocket nut and thread it onto your bolt approximately five turns. Some truck applications that do not have stake pockets will come with our modified wind seals. These will use a clamp-on system to attach to the truck bed. Next, take your completed wind seal assembly, align it to your truck bed, and allow the stake pocket nuts to drop into their respective stake pockets. Next, lift up your wind seal so that the stake pocket nut engages the side of the stake pocket. Take your 5 30 seconds Allen wrench and tighten down the bolt so that it is finger tight. And complete this for the remaining stake pockets. Now that we have the wind seals installed, it's time to place the cover on the truck. Simply take the cover and move it towards the cab of the truck, placing it in between the wind seals. It's helpful to have a second person with you for this part of the installation. To help ensure proper placement of your cover, it is helpful to have the lock tab as close to the tailgate as possible without touching. Now that we have the cover on the truck, it's time to secure the cover to the truck bed. We're going to begin by opening up the front panel and attaching the hinge bracket. Simply slide the hinge bracket over the hinge, ensuring that the Allen bolts are facing the front of the truck bed. Place your shim, pushing down firmly so that it's fully seated, and then finger tighten your Allen bolts. Now that both hinge brackets are installed, it's time to install the C-clamps. Simply take your C-clamp, place it underneath the bed rail, and attach it to the hinge bracket with two bolts from underneath. Now that we've attached the C-clamp to the hinge bracket, it's time to secure the C-clamp to the truck bed itself. Take your C-clamp shim, place it between the C-clamp and the truck bed, and tighten down. Be sure to tighten down the bolt first and secure with the jam nut. With the C-clamps fully installed and tightened, it's time to install the center latch brackets. With the tailgate down and the rear panel closed, mark the center of the latch mechanism with a piece of masking tape on the bed rail. Now that we've marked the bracket position, simply open the cover and install your bracket. Now that we've mounted our center latch brackets, it's time to install our striker bolts. Take a striker bolt with two flat washers, loosely thread onto your T-nut, slide the T-nut into the striker clamp assembly, and finger tighten. Repeat this for all four striker clamps. With the striker bolts installed and the latches in their open position, gently lower down the rear panel of the cover to ensure proper alignment between the striker bolt and the U-shaped striker bolt receiver. With the striker bolts properly installed, close the cover to check the spacing and alignment of the wind seal rails with the cover. With the wind seal rails properly aligned, open the cover and completely secure the rails to the truck bed. The final step in the insulation process is to install the weather seal. Before proceeding, we recommend you clean the contact surface with an isopropyl or denatured alcohol. Once the contact surface is cleaned, apply the adhesion promoter that has been supplied to you.
Once your adhesion promoter has been applied, it's time to attach your weather seal. The adhesive on the weather seal is pressure sensitive. We recommend that you use a pressure roller or wet out tool such as this to apply firm pressure. If one is not available to you, an alternative method is to use the box end of a wrench. With the weather seals attached, your fold to cover installation is complete.